we have an albino Burmese python. As you can see, this snake is a little bit larger. Now, a Burmese python is not an animal that I would recommend for anyone that is just getting started working with snakes because clearly they need more care, as you can see. This is a female. She's about 14 feet long and about 75 pounds. She is going to get to be 20 feet long and up to 200 pounds. Males don't get to be quite as big. Males generally only get to be about 15 feet, but you can see she's a very heavy bodied big girl. They're actually considered one of the heavy bodiedest largest uh, snakes. Also though, of the larger snakes, they are considered probably the most docile and are frequently pets in the pet trade. Let me move around here so you can see her beautiful face. As you can see, this type of snake can get really heavy really fast. <laughs> so we're on the ground now. You can see her forked tongue coming out. And again, it's collecting air molecules and it inserts back into the mouth and into two holes in the roof of the mouth. It's called a Jacobson's organ. So it sends a signal to the brain what's going on in their environment. Is this food? Is this a predator? What's going on? So again, when people see the, the tongue of a snake coming out, it's nothing to be alarmed about. They're just checking out their environment. These guys don't have arms and legs, as we can see. So the only thing that they have to hold onto something is their muscles. So when you are holding a large snake like this, you wanna make them feel secure because basically you are their tree. And if I'm moving around a lot and making them feel insecure, like they're going to fall, they're going to tighten down. So again, that's just basic psychology with understanding, understanding the animal that you are working with. Albino Burmese pythons actually were discovered in the 1970s. The first one was born and brought into captivity and actually an animal trader bought the animal for I believe $75,000. It was a huge amount of money and began to breed it with other Burmese for that mutant gene. And by the 1980s, these animals were all over the pet trade in the wild albinos would not live very long obviously because they have no camouflage for the jungle they would stand out and they would be eaten as a hatchling when they are small they do have lots of predators like birds other snakes mammals human beings all kinds of different predators but when they get to be this size obviously the predator list grows much shorter although at this size, man is a huge predator of these types of animals because these snakes oftentimes are killed for their skins. The skin looks better on the snake, don't you think? 